All right, YouTube. Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 has just dropped. Well, it didn't really drop. It got leaked. And then they dropped some trailers. So we got a lot to watch right now. So let's get into it. We walk different paths towards the same end. Stash House 6v6. Now this looks cool. Okay, so they're they're probably focusing more on like the new 6v6 game mode that they're dropping. It's like a new weapon. Whatever they're showing in the trailer. And then, okay, that, wait, let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. This looks like, what do they call it? Horde point? This kind of seems like the extinction uh, thing from Call of Duty Ghosts. I think they're like revamping it and doing another one in like this. Which was fun. Like I loved Extinction from uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Here they come. You can hide, but me, I'm going out. Overloaded. Yo, these maps look really good, and the skins do too. Wait, that was it. Wait, 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 wait. What? Only forty seconds. I didn't even pay attention. So I guess that's the multiplayer launch trailer. Let's go over to the zombies one. Or no, this is not even the zombies one. This is the Warzone one. So this was multiplayer and zombies, I guess. It was like a little teaser. And then this is the Warzone one, which is 46 seconds. Bruh. All right, let's get it. What? Although I don't play a lot of uh, Warzone, I might try it out. Like, cause this, I like, I like the close type of Warzone, like where it's like small maps and not like I gotta run like ten miles to find somebody. Like, those are like typically not what I prefer to play. Working favors, the bull. Wait, wait, am I tripping? Or did I see a zombie? In Warzone, was that a, like a mark wall? Wait, hold up, go, let's go back and look at this. Where's it at? Come and get me. Like I might definitely have to play Warzone if um if they like switching it up and adding like different types of mobs and stuff. Oh, this is like yeah, this thing. Is this is that is that a ray gun? Wait, you can have a ray gun in Warzone? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might have to play Warzone. This looks way too good to pass up on. Let's continue it. Plus the map. Like this is the map um in zombies where it's like the like what is it called? The rift or the sigil? Like you do a sigil and then you get put on this map. For zombies. And is that is that Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead? What is going on with yo? Know, I'm gonna have to test out Warzone for sure, cause like they added like a Walking Dead character in Warzone. Okay, this is huge. This is looking huge. And then finally, I got the guy. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Ink Slasher. I assumed he had like the insight on like the leaks and all that other stuff. So like. Let's just watch what he's watch what he says, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time once again. Next week we are getting season two, which means today we got the entire roadmap for season two. Everything that is coming within season two, we have laid out for us today, and that is exactly what we're gonna be going over. Yes. There is a ton of content here with Warzone, with zombies, with Modern Warfare 3, and we are gonna be going over all of it in this video. And some of it is okay, like let's skip through this. I don't want to watch the entire 17 minute video. Coming. This is really what I want to see. see what I Here it is. So what do we got? Warzone. Oh, so the, you can have a ray gun and there's like zombies imp implemented into this type of war zone type of vibe. And then they're adding new maps for Modern Warfare 3. And then they're adding four new weapons. Is that a sword? Soul Render. 
Okay, this is this looking is huge. Let me map, have him and talk. You can kind of see some of the bigger things throughout this. First off, we have Fortune's Keep as well as the maps within multiplayer. There's also various different events in multiplayer. We have the Walking Dead event. We have the Dune Park. Walking event, Dead event. Rick uh, Grimes. Well that is crazy. Called Horde Hunt. Uh, but instead of just oh. going through and the then Michonne, roadmap, my favorite character, out and explains everything that is coming. So that is what we are going to do. This is going to be huge. I can't um, wait to play it this. Out here with a brief overview of the trailer that we looked at yesterday and once again that roadmap but let's dive in to modern warfare 3 if you're looking for just warzone just zombies or anything like that i will have timestamps on this video to keep you guys informed as there's no timestamps he lied to so us it goes over everything here but then it breaks it down in more detail so as far as multiplayer maps we have four there's new core 66 six maps also really sweet shot of ghost there after this, like though, it. we have our first map, which is called Departures. This one is a 6v6 map. That gives, like, the, uh, you know, that you Black Ops 2 map with here. the trains? Me, this map looks it kind of gives that type like of vibe. from Black Ops 2, but throughout this, yes. there is no reference to that whatsoever. Um, but what this is, is essentially another terminal. It takes place at Zakaev International Airport, uh, and it's not terminal. It's a brand new terminal, if you will. So kind of interesting aesthetic to that one. Then we have uh, Stash House. This is a very small size map in fact this looks like one of the smallest maps we have ever seen look at this it looks smaller than nuketown i am very excited to see how this one plays it looks very cool and uh yeah probably going to be a new fan favorite after this we have vista this is a medium-sized map however it does look smaller uh than the departure map that we saw up there and this one is on a brazilian mountaintop looks pretty cool the aesthetics are absolutely amazing and then we have dos house but this dos house is not normal DOS house. This DOS house is on top of a giant skyscraper. I can't do another high rise, high rise man. Meets DOS house. And of course, this is a small like, map too. And I can't do another high rise. High rise is like, I love the, I love the map. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like, it's been, it's been played so much. It's just like, I, I just can't. Like when you get it, when you're playing CDL, when you're playing ranked and you play on high rise, it's just the sweatiest session of your entire life. Because everybody knows every angle, every corner, and it's just horrible to play on. And then they made another high rise, but this one, this one, this might be a little better because you can't like die from spawn. Like there's certain angles you can get up on in high rise, and you can kill somebody if you have a sniper from across the map and spawn. So it's like, I don't know. Hopefully they fixed it with this map. Remember how we were talking about the stash house map? Look how big this map is compared to that one that that might be even smaller than shipment it's going to be a wild wild map now also there yeah. are two new map variants so the first one we have is called airborne and essentially this is a post-apocalyptic version of terminal, terminal. this looks okay. absolutely amazing and i'm very curious to get some game time in on that and then we have skid row this one's kind of like the overgrown version of skid row um honestly honestly it doesn't look that much different it essentially looks like skid i hate row, skid row skid by the row way meets the last of us is essentially the easiest way to look i actually it. I hate that map dead, it's so bad you know what i'm saying and i don't know why they added it into map. the game so this one is called operation tin man and if you look at this one it is once again on top of that tower that we just saw dokabi get put into within Yurzikstan. And as far as this one goes i don't know how the progression of this one is going to work but all in all it looks pretty cool as far as game modes go, we have five new game modes, starting off with Team Gun Game. So that's gun game, but you play on a team. Pretty straightforward. Uh, then we have Snipers Only. That's this is sniper. obviously a Snipers Only. Thank God. Only snipers. I'm tired then of we have Horde Point, which like, if you didn't getting know, teammates are trying to trick shot in my game. Zombies like, on the please. map. They introduced this in Call of Duty World War Go to the Snipers Only uh, game mode. Back once again. This should we be need an that. interesting one. Uh, after this, we have the rest of the stuff looks really Marsh, irrelevant. I'm not gonna is, lie. Guess, Let's uh, try to skip through this. See what else domination and hard point, but every single character is Warzone season two. This is what I really want to know about. The trailer that we just watched, like we have the Warzone's looking pretty decent. So this is gonna be there. A wonder wall beginning of season Warzone, and basically there's a new aesthetic. I shouldn't say aesthetic. It's an updated version of Fortune's Keep. First of all, really cool picture there. We're back that one but also this is the fortunes keep map so the couple new things that you can see here are first of all the coney outpost so coney is going to be on this map and of course it's going to play into the story somehow uh then we have our various different locations so we have the rear docks and caves also on top of this we have the terraces this location looks really really cool 
We have the graveyard, this area I'm well acquainted with. On top of this, we have lower. So this is kind of along the water the side of town. We have upper, which is the actual town in and of itself. We have overlook, which I guess is the outside of that little area. We have the Coney Outpost. This is what I just talked about. So this is something brand new within this one. It's a very small area, but an area nonetheless. Then we have Pier. It is simply a pier. Then we have a what lighthouse. What am I looking at? Like, it is the lighthouse. Is this just like areas in the, the, in the war zone? Going through here. Uh, I want to know about the weapons. Also, another new interesting thing about this one is Let you Let me can know about the weapons. So that's that's what be... really matters. Uh, but the... Guys, All right, we're green. The other one that we do know, we saw it within the trailer. That is the ray gun. So very Angle powerful. Wars. Almost reminds me of... Like, how do I end up getting the, 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 the ray gun and ray gun the Wonderwall in Warzone? Also, there's war going to be zombies power-ups on the map as well. So they well, Zombies power-ups? Full armor. Max Wait ammo, a minute. Fire sale. Looting spree. Zarkor, which is increased movement speed. Warzone's going to be huge. Site, which I'm going to have to play that. Like, There's no doubt in my mind that I have to highlight. play Warzone. So, very it's going to be huge. Things, but they only last for the very maximum. The fire sale is 90 seconds. Another new thing is there is an extendable bridge. So a bridge you can retract and make longer. They also say fortune favors the show. Essentially what they are talking yeah. about here is there is going to be loot on the map that is you can find in certain areas uh and i'm assuming this is like the ray gun and things like that as well there's also a new tracker squad wipe streaks so essentially how this works is there's going to be a thing in they're the like top completely right of the screen, which they're completely revamping warzone and i I'm, I'm glad for it because warzone was kind of stale and that's why i stopped playing it so now that they're revamping it adding perks zombie perks zombie weapons like adding a new map like, yeah, this is gonna be when interesting. I want to know team, it'll all about this a for sure. Ninety second timer, which gives you ninety seconds to eliminate your next team. If you do so, your streak continues. And basically, if you oh, okay. do have the highest, and I know about the weapons, like streak, let's you can fast earn forward calling to the cards weapons. and emblems. So that's what that is for. Then they talk about. Do they talk about well, the weapons in as here? As you can see, reach top eight squad, reach top three. Oh, this squad, is about ranked. Uh, let's go back. This is about ranked. We so need to know about this. In so. I couldn't, I scanned through the video, I couldn't find anything about the weapons. I guess they're just teasing it in the pictures. And I guess you'll just run run around and find them from like loot boxes or whatever and get the weapons. But this is what I really want to know about. Ranked. Like, there is it a new map? Like, how many new maps? Like, how, how does the rank system work? Because like, the rank system now kind of feels like wonky. It's not too bad, but it feels like really just like unfair if you're not fully four stacked at launch is warzone ranked resurgence so wait warzone ranked and rank they're adding warzone ranked warzone just going to be in resurgence what you need to know is it's on fortune's keep it is trios it is resurgence uh there are files fire sales and restock fire events sales and restock. So i guess that's how you get the uh, no turreted vehicle wonder wall that's pretty much it so then we can see the skill divisions it works exactly the same okay. as multiplayer ranked which is good i think it's good to have the that's continuity great. what about uh, regular rank actually work? or are they they're when not going to touch regular rank following places i feel like is the i feel like they should really add more to regular ranked and like try to make it a little better than what it is like the system feels not bad, but it's not good either. It's like it's like in a gray area. Amount of SR that you will get, but you also get SR for kills and assists. But I, I and like this. It's kind of like remaining, Apex ranked. Apex ranked is pristine. Like it's remaining. You can't beat that, that rank works. system. It's too good. Five points, and if you're playing on a team, if you don't assist a kill, you get two points. Eight minutes, seven and three points, and three minutes, fifteen and seven points. So it's most advantageous to get your most amount of kills in the last three minutes of the game. Now, there's also challenges to go with the season as well. As you can see, reach top eight squad, reach top three squad, uh, 10 kills or assists, things along these lines. Um, you're just going to be able to complete challenges for them. Essentially, it's going to be work very similar to last time we saw Warzone rank, but this time in Resurgence. As you can see, here are your rewards here based off of the placement that you finish at the end of a season. Wait, they had Warzone that ranked that last Warzone. And now we get uh, Modern Warfare 2? Overall. So our events, I never our even weapons, knew. I thought this was brand new. Lines. So starting out with our weapons. I guess it wasn't that big and nobody cared about it to talk about it then enough. Is first off, the BP-50. This is in sector B7. It is an assault rifle. Basically, this one has a very, very good rate of fire. Okay. That's what I don't care now. about the new guns, we honestly. The we have the soul renderer. But this I do care about this. This is insane. What? 
Let's hear him talk how about it this. Forms within Warzone because those ones are pretty good normally. Soul Render. We have Soul Renderer. This one is in season, so it's redacted. So I'm assuming it's coming with some sort of event. And as far as this one goes, uh, it's a sword. Then we have. Oh, he's our... gonna skip over it. That thing is insane. Adding a sword to, to Call of Duty is insane. But like, let's skip past this. Like, what else is he talking about here? Um, Black Cell, nobody cares about the skins. The Battle Pass, nobody cares about that. Rick Grimes, uh, whatever. Whatever. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, the Horde event was cool or whatever. Prestige Challenge, that's a cool skin. And these emblems are really cool too. I like these emblems. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm excited. Modern Warfare 2. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 Season 2. It's going to be huge. I can't wait to play it.